characters might you need besides suspects? Go ahead. Witness. Witnesses, okay. Um, any others? Detectives. Detectives, you need a detective as well. Victim. Oh, victim, yeah. You have to, potentially, if something <laughs> happened to somebody, if that was your crime, yeah, you'd need a victim. You have more? Um, well, I'm gonna have a, like, a plot or a place where it took place. Yes, the, and you, the plot of the story. What happens in the story? We need to have clues and mm -hmm. more distractions. Mm -hmm. Clues or distractions. What's a clue? Someone want to explain to me what a clue is? Go ahead. Um, it gives a hint, like, who the killer or whatever would be. Right, right. It's kind of evidence that kind of hints to the detective who might be guilty. You need a setting? You need a setting where the story takes place. You, you definitely need that. Um, what about we talked about distractions? What's a distraction? Yeah, something that throw, something that throws like the detectives off of the case. Right, right. It's kind of like an extra clue that has nothing to do with the answer. Anything else you guys can think of from a mystery story that you you've learned about so far? All right. What what about structure? When you're writing a mystery story. You're going to have an introduction, a body of your story, and a conclusion. What should happen in the introduction of your story, in the beginning? Go ahead. Kind of tell who the characters are and then start explaining the problem. Right, right. You kind of introduce all the characters and you come across the problem that your detective has to solve. What about the body of the story, the middle part? What happens then? Go ahead. figures out who some of the suspects would be or like has an idea of who um, did the crime or something. Right, right. It's where all that plot happens. You find the clues, you talk to people, figure out what's going on. All right, and what about the last part, the conclusion of your story? Go ahead. They find whoever did the crime. Right. Everything gets figured out. Everyone lives happily ever after. So that's what we're, we're going to work on today. You guys have been using the Graphic Organizer. Mr. Graphic Organizer, you guys have probably seen this before. You've used it, when you, did you use it when you watched Scooby-Doo? Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. All right, so this is what you guys are going to work on today. But let's do one first as a whole class. Let's write a mystery story together. Um, so first off, on the graphic orga orga ugh, organizer, can't talk today, what we need is a crime and who committed the crime. So someone have a suggestion to me for our class story? What's the crime? Um, a murder slash car robbery. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> murder slash car robbery. All right. And who is guilty? Who did it? Go ahead. Okay, think of another character. Um, in the back. Go ahead. Camden. Camden. Oh, just, it's just a name, not some random. How, how would you like Camden spelled? C-A-M-D-E-N. Camden Vampires. Cousin Camden? Sure. We'll go oh, with that. Camden Vampires. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we need suspects. Who, who's suspect? True. Um, Jessica. Jessica Gonzalez. <laughs> Last name. All right, another suspect. Um, back in the ocean. Sorry, don't you me. What? No, Pedro. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So we kind of got our beginning information, you know, the, we have the problems, 
the murder slash robbery, have our characters introduced. Now, where did this crime take place? I need a setting. Graphic 